Hello everybody and welcome to this video where I've been putting this off for the last two days because I've been so pissed off. If you don't like me talking politics, turn this fucking thing off because you probably don't want to fucking hear what I have to say. And even if you did, you're just going to get fucking pissed off anyway. And just to give you like a preview of this, I'm going to be pissed off. At Republicans, I'm going to be pissed off at Democrats, I'm going to be pissed off at right-wing media, and I'm going to be really pissed off at left-wing media, okay? So if you could fucking stomach that shit, then please stay and watch this to the end, because I'm sure it'll be fucking enlightening. If you can't, if you're going to fucking like completely lose your shit and fucking scream and cry into your fucking diaper, then fuck off, because you're already fucked. Like, I'm not here to fucking unbrainwash you. But if you have a fucking mind that can think, if you don't mind researching the things that I fucking say so you know I'm not full of shit, then please fucking stick around. But if you're one of those people who are like, fake news, fake news, fake news, every time someone says something you disagree with, then fuck you. You're already gone. There, There's no helping you. But for everybody else... It's time for me to bitch. I've been wanting to fucking do stuff. Like, I was going to live stream fucking election results. Okay? Because this fucking midterm election was very fucking important. And it still is because we still don't know. We still don't fucking know. I'm so fucking livid. Okay, so here's the thing. The right, for weeks, have been saying things like, the only thing that people are going to care about on this election is fucking inflation and gas prices and food on their table, you know, and crime. Crime's really fucking bad, too. You know, let's just focus on that. That's what people really fucking care about. And I think people do really fucking care about those things. But the one thing that none of these fucking people on right-wing media fucking tell you about inflation, about gas prices, about how much it costs to put food on your fucking table... Here's the thing, inflation, when inflation happens, when inflation is fucking real, this is what happens. People can't afford shit. People can't fucking afford to eat. People can't afford to pay their rent. People have to stop fucking shopping because they can't fucking handle it. When inflation really happens, people lose their jobs. Why would people lose their jobs during inflation? Because if people aren't putting money back into the economy, Businesses can't afford to fucking pay people's wages. So motherfuckers lose their jobs. When motherfuckers lose their jobs, they have even less money to spend at businesses. And you know what happens? Businesses go under, corporations go under. This is going to blow your fucking mind. But this huge inflation thing that everyone's talking about, guess what's not happening? Businesses going under, corporations going under. In fact, the fucking opposite is fucking happening. You want to know what that is? If you listen to any corporate earnings calls that have been going on this last quarter, or even fucking before that, but this last quarter especially, these motherfuckers are talking about record fucking profits. How is it if there's such high inflation that corporations could have record fucking profits. Well, I'll tell you because they said on earnings calls how they get fucking record earning profits. How they do it is because people are so fucking stupid that they still believe that there's supply chain issues from fucking COVID. So because they believe that, they could raise the fucking price. This is called price gouging. This is fucking going on everywhere. And rich motherfuckers are getting fucking richer. Nobody's talking about that. Not even the fucking left-wing media is talking about that. You want to know why? Because the left-wing media is just as fucking guilty being big fucking corporations. 
This is, it's so fucking stupid and simple that people don't fucking get this. But you know what? They actually did get it. So let me, let me take a step back. Because if they didn't get it, they would have believed all this fucking bullshit. And that red wave and red tsunami that was supposed to happen would have fucking happened. But it fucking didn't. Yeah, let's talk about that for a minute. Okay? So, the reason why the right is so fucking, like, bewildered right now, in case you don't know. Typically, when a president is in the midterm cycle, they lose the House and the Senate. Or they lose seats in the House and the Senate. And I can't remember exactly what the numbers were. And I don't know if it's for which one or the other. But anywhere from 20 to 30 to even like 60. The only time presidents have been able to like not get fucked on the midterms is if their approval rating was like over like 60 or 70 percent. So like Bush Jr., after uh, 9-11, and I think Clinton after the um, impeachment hearings. The impeachment hearings made Clinton super fucking popular. Other than that, that, that just doesn't happen. Now here's the kicker. The kicker is, is that Biden is not popular. So how the fuck did this happen? Okay, well, let's go back. Let's go back to, uh, let's see, the Dobbs leak. Okay, we knew months in advance that the Supreme Court was going to overturn Roe. Okay, we knew this was going to fucking happen. Biden fucking knew it was going to happen. The DNC knew it was going to happen. So when it did happen, what did Biden do? Do you guys remember what he did? Do you remember? After it happened, he had a press conference. And he said, you know, there's not much I could do about this, but there's something you can do about this. Vote, 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 vote. He knew, the DNC knew, that they were going to get fucked on the midterms because history repeats itself and you need to learn from your mistakes. So what did Biden do to change any of this stuff, to fix the row problem? He did fucking nothing. He said it was your fucking responsibility. Americans put Biden in the fucking White House. And now he's saying it's your responsibility. And a lot of people came out and said, actually, president, these are all the things you can fucking do. There are ways that you could at least show that you give two shits. No, 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 no. I'm not going to do anything like that. I'm not going to stack the court. I'm not going to you know, put clinics on federal land. I'm not going to do any of that stuff. That That's just playing into their hand. No, it's not. It's doing your fucking job, you piece of shit. Okay? So, that was his goal. Just, just go fucking vote, you know? And guess what the biggest fucking thing was that people fucking voted on? Abortion. Even though the right wing was trying to tell you that that's not what people were going to be voting on. It was. It's shocking. Telling half the fucking population that they don't matter as human beings. God, who would have fucking thought that that would have fucking pissed some people off and got them to the fucking polls? Jesus fucking idiots, dude. So here's the next thing. The elections happen with um, DeSantis' redistricting of fucking Florida he fucking pretty much made Florida red as shit with the exception of something we'll talk about later, um, which is fucking amazing. And I'm so fucking excited for it. Florida, there's a chance that you're not a piece of shit. Jesus fucking Christ. And God knows I have tons of fucking family there. So fuck today. And we'll get, we'll get to some other shit about that night too, but today and yesterday, all the news channels, the, more left-leaning news channels are talking about what a great job Biden did. Fuck, man, Biden Biden really fucking pulled this off. You know, this Biden White House, you know, shit, man. He got so much stuff through. You know, this is this is why it happened because you know Biden's, you know, he's been working on both sides of the line, you know. He's he's no, nobody likes Biden. Nobody liked him when he fucking ran. 
The majority of the population was behind fucking Bernie fucking Sanders, but the DNC didn't like that. Why? Because the DNC's corporate donors didn't fucking like that. Why? Because Bernie would have fucking raised their fucking taxes. Okay? So, the DNC made a bunch of promises to people like Buttigieg and fucking Klobuchar and all these other people who were fucking running to fucking stab Bernie in the back and go all in on Biden. Even though, even though, during the primaries, Biden was running fucking lower than almost all of them. So Biden comes in and guess what happens? Democrats weren't liking Biden. So what did Biden do? Biden said, I'm gonna do everything Bernie said he would do. And then everyone's like, oh, shit. Well, okay, like if, if Bernie says that we should vote for Biden, you know, whatever. You know, I guess Biden's the guy. But that wasn't the thing that was pushing it. People didn't like Biden. People still don't like Biden. But you know what they hate more? Fucking Donald Trump. There is a group of people who fucking love Donald Trump and pray to Donald Trump and jerk off to pictures of Donald Trump. But that is a very small chunk. You would think it was more the way the Republican Party is so fucking terrified of him and how fucking MTG fucking licks the shit that comes out of that fucker's ass. But we're going to get to more things about this in a minute here. So here's the deal. The, th the most important fucking thing to come out of this election, which is why I didn't fucking make this video yesterday, because I was still pissed off yesterday, but I was feeling good. I felt like, you know what? I didn't think very much of this country. I didn't think very much of it at all. But maybe not everyone is batshit fucking crazy. Maybe not everyone in this country is a fucking lunatic. Why is that? Why, why would I think that? Because the Trump-backed candidates, most of them, fucking lost. And fucking fingers crossed that Lake and Masters fucking get their asses kicked in Arizona. Jesus, fingers crossed. They are fucking lunatics. Now, for those of you who lean red and are more right-leaning, and if you don't like Trump, like you, you agree that Trump's a bad fucking seed and all that shit, a lot of people are going to be telling you that DeSantis is the, the new future. Okay? DeSantis is just Trump without the charisma. Okay? DeSantis is a fucking horrible piece of shit human being. Horrible fucking human being. Okay? We, like, just fucking Google, like, shit that DeSantis has been up to this year. And there'll be enough in just the last, like, fucking six months to make you understand that he's a fucking piece of shit. Now, the Democrats that won seats, the Democrats that kept their seats, who were they? They were Democrats who were running on populist and progressive fucking platforms. Some of you might not know what all this fucking means. Populist is basically carrying the view that the majority of the people in the country want. Populist thought is pro-choice. Most of the states that did shit for this, like it was like 70% or more, okay? Another very populist belief, higher minimum wage. Even fucking Nebraska, red as fuck, okay? Higher minimum wage. Alabama in 2018, Arkansas in 2018, red fucking states are like, yes, we're red, you know, mainly because we're fucking racist as shit, but we do want higher minimum wage, please. Yes, yes, please, and thank you. Please give us that money, okay? Republicans do not like higher minimum wage, okay? Populist people, mainly on the left, run on higher minimum wage, and they get fucking elected. So what are some other populist fucking things and progressive things? <clears throat> Medicare for all. That is very fucking popular, no matter what right-wing media fucking tells you. No matter what left-wing media fucking tells you. Because for those of you who don't know, <clears throat> left-wing media, if you do not watch left-wing media, I'm going to let you in on a little something here. They 
talk shit on progressives all the time. And whenever something goes bad, they say, well, you know what? It's probably because the Democrats are leaning too progressive and they're backing progressive candidates. Well, guess what? Progressive candidates won on Tuesday. Candidates who weren't progressive either lost or, or may lose. So for instance, uh, Mandela Barnes in Wisconsin, fucking amazing. Just a fucking awesome motherfucking dude. But for some reason, in the last few weeks, kind of tried to pull back from Medicare for all and all that shit. Tried to pull back from his progressive message. And probably this was his team telling him he needs to stay away. I mean, we're in Wisconsin. It's pretty fucking red. But you know what happened in Wisconsin? Democratic governor kept his seat, kept, kept the mansion by way higher numbers than he did when he won it originally. And who did he beat? A Trump-backed candidate. Okay? But for some reason, a very, originally, a very progressive Senate candidate lost to Ron fucking Johnson, for fuck's sake. Jesus fucking Christ. What's his fucking name? Uh, Tim Ryan. In Ohio, he fucking lost to fucking meat puppet J.D. Vance, for fuck's sake. Okay, how did he lose? What, 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 was, what was his fucking thing? Because he actually is able to, like, speak, and he fucking kills in debates, and he fucking can control a room. He's a very well-spoken dude. He, he really should have had no problem with that, but what, how, how did he... How did he lose that race? He went after student loan forgiveness, which is a very populist fucking thing, which is a very progressive fucking thing. He was not for it. He did not like that. And guess what happened to him? He fucking lost. Someone else who might lose is that chick in fucking Nevada who should have fucking had this tied up, but she didn't like the student loan debt forgiveness. So for the left-wing media to fucking keep saying that these damn progressive candidates, blah, 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 those are the candidates people fucking like because they fucking say things that fucking matter to people and fucking have policies that will fucking matter to every fucking human being. Okay? Like the squad fucking kept their seats. They're good. They're, they're, they're good. Everything's fine. And there's more squad members now. So for those of you who are like, oh, I don't like the squad. Well, there's more now. Bernie Sanders' fucking picks did well. You know who fucking lost his seat? The fucking head of the D triple C. The fucking house dude in fucking New York lost his fucking seat. And he is very moderate fucking Democrat. Huh, that's fucking weird. This culture war bullshit. Let's talk about that for a fucking hot minute. Guess who brings that up? Republicans. No one's fucking talking about it. Nobody fucking cares. Republicans, if you want to start winning races, it was so funny. Janine fucking Pirro fucking said, well, it looks like people really cared about was... Uh, abortion and threats to democracy no shit jesus fucking christ the light bulb went on for a half a second and then it turned right back off and she started talking about stupid ass shit but some of you are not going to like to hear this but if the republicans want to fucking win ever again and i don't want you guys to fucking win okay and i don't want fucking moderate fucking democrats to win but i'm just saying republicans if you want to win this culture war shit, knock it the fuck off. Nobody fucking cares. This fucking left or right wing media inciting fucking violence and shit. Nobody wants it anymore. Nobody fucking cares. This fucking religious fucking bullshit, like trying to fucking like put your grip on people with fucking Christian nationalism. Nobody fucking cares except the fucking, I don't know. 
the racists in the Bible Belt. I, I, I don't know what the fuck else to tell you. But you can't win an election with that. And you fucking know that. I don't know what else to say. Like, as of this moment, um, it looks like the Republicans will probably take the House. But there's also just as many. I mean, there's not as many, but like it, there, it's still possible that the Democrats don't lose the House. It's very possible that the Democrats will actually win the Senate. OK, but um, I don't know. The chick in Nevada kind of shot herself in the foot. And um, depending on the Warnock Herschel Walker thing, um, the runoff on the six, I, I don't fucking know. But um, Mark Kelly in Arizona, he seems to be ahead enough that whatever else comes in, he should be able to handle that. So if that's the case and um, the Republicans win Nevada, everything comes down to um, Warnock and Walker. And Jesus Christ, Herschel fucking Walker. Do I even need to fucking talk about this fucking Yahoo? He's as dumb as they fucking come. I don't fucking know, dude. I just, I just don't fucking know. Joe Biden, I just want you to know that nobody fucking likes you. <laughs> like... You are not popular. Nobody likes you. Pete, there, there was another poll that said, after all this shit, do you want Joe Biden to, um, to run again? Over 60% of people said no. This is not you. And this is the thing I was talking about. All these fucking left-wing media fucking things are like fucking praising Joe Biden like he fucking did this. Joe Biden did nothing except put people's lives in danger by saying, if you want this change, you got to vote. We did vote. We put a fucking Democrat in the White House, Democratic Senate, Democratic House. Do your fucking job. So this is what I'm saying to the fucking Democrats now. Okay, this is going to be the, the, the prophecy. No matter what happens now, like however this shakes down, Biden, if you do not do all of the things that you said you were going to do and do them fast... Because, again, especially when we're talking economy, it takes uh, at least two years to make anything positive happen when you start doing something to the economy. Okay? If you do not do the things that you fucking promised you would do, people are going to turn. Gen Z is the thing that is making elections the way they are. More younger people are voting now more than ever. And they're getting to the point where they're the most people voting. Republicans, I don't know if you can grab those people. Because all you do is fear monger and talk about hate, banning books, some Bible bullshit, CRT, all this other shit. That people who are like in between the ages of 18 and 24 don't give a shit about because they don't fucking see people the way you see people. So if you ever want to win another fucking election, get off that shit. Democrats, start supporting progressive candidates. If you want to hold on to shit, start promoting progressive candidates. <sighs> Jesus fucking Christ. I'm fucking done. I'm fucking done. I just want to give a quick thanks to those people who make these videos possible. Anarchy Creo and my followers on Patreon. I appreciate the hell out of you guys. And thank you so much for keeping me going to keep this content possible. You guys are awesome. And if you'd like to join the career of the Anarchy Creo, just hit the join button beneath this video. And if you'd like to become a member of my Patreon, you can run over to the link down below to do that as well. Thank you.